Hello guys, welcome to RT009. This is D Square, and today I'm gonna show you a very interesting topic on SolidWorks that is how to do tensile stress in SolidWorks. So I'm starting. This is a simple port shoulder. We can put our port here and uh, this will fix uh, with the uh, manhole. For a simulation, uh, I need a simulation tab. So right click here and go to tab and here we can get a simulation. If you don't get a simulation tab, so click SOLIDWORKS add-in and click here SOLIDWORKS simulation. After some time, you will get a simulation tab directly. So go to simulation, click new study. Now we are doing right now static study. So click right. Now right click on clamp, apply material. Right now I am applying iron material and that is ductile iron click apply and close so connection no need the connection here because uh, this is a uh, only single body so we don't need uh, any types of connection okay now go to fixture and right click and uh, fix geometry so this part we fix with the hole so click the part and click right now external load go to force and here I am applying 2 to 5 Newton load and uh, direction is downside click this one this one So this one and this one because these are the main base of the structure now click right ok now go to mesh right click and create mesh here we can see that uh, mesh parameter click here and uh, first is a standard mesh so right now this is a standard mesh we can get uh, our uh, factor here the size of element and between space right now go to curvature base place so element will change also blended curvature also here changes so right now we are applying standard mesh because we don't have any curvature part so right now I am applying standard mesh and uh, dragging this arrow to fine so here we can get uh, a fine triangle if I am resetting so this is uh, more size if I am dragging this one so we can get a more fine triangle so when we dragging this one so we can get a more output of the structure right now I, I am making this one is a reset and click right now messing happening ok it happened ok now run the study okay so here you can see that simulation is completed so double click on the chart here we can get so minimum annotation so maximum annotation so we can get here minimum and maximum stress point now go here click here to floating so it is very easy to identify number right now go here this is uh, x y and z uh, dimensional normal stress if you want anyone we can choose here this is a uh, shear in y direction on y z plane principal x stress and right now I'm making one minus stress and click here mega Pascal result now click right okay so here we can get uh, the result right now right click animate it 
okay so here we can see that our uh, yield stress is uh, 551.485 and uh, when we are applying 225 newton load on this structure so our maximum yield stress is going 503.774 it means uh, the structure is uh, safe for now because our maximum stress value is below the yield stress so we can say that the structure is safe for now okay now click right now making displacement right click here and uh, setting also here so minimum and maximum annotation click here scientific to floating and definition this is the default setting result and displacement if you want y direction displacement x direction displacement or z direction displacement we can get it here so i am taking as a default and click right so right click and animate so here we can see that the maximum deformation is going to 2.548 mm it means when we apply 225 newton load on this structure it will deform up to 2.548 mm this part will deform maximum right click okay here one more thing go to setting here you can see that the value deformation here true scale and this is a automatic scale if we change it into true scale now click right so you don't get uh, more deformation visually you just get uh, somehow right you can see here it won't deform but uh, see the value is same 2.548 mm right so solidworks give more deformation in visuality automatically so right click here and setting once more automatic so scale of deformation is we can see here 6.5 5088329 also we can see here the scale so this is the deformation right now going to stress going to strain and uh, right click here setting so make here minimum and maximum stress go to floating and definition here is a strain x y or z x is normal strain c s strain in y direction on y z plan this all are the different types of strain now click here strain energy density click right so we can see here the strain animate it okay so this is the strain strain means uh, the changing length upon actual length it's called strain click here and uh, choose here equivalent strain now click right so this is the equivalent strain so here you can see that the structure molecular change mostly in this part only right we are seeing this the structure is change this part only all are remain same change
okay when i apply more load right now our load is 2 to 5 newton right click and edit definition click here 250 newton okay click right and run the study again okay so here we can see that our maximum stress limit is 559.749 uh, it means it is above of our yield strain point our yield strain point is uh, 551.485 it means when i apply 25 newton load on this structure it will break so this is the breaking point here so it will break from here also right click and i am animating so this is the how it will work okay now i am just checking displacement double click here and right click and animate so here we can get more displacement we can see here first one is a 2.5 and right now if i applied more road so it will displace up to 2.831 and it will break also so that time structure will break so i am just doing before value that is 225 click here and right run this study again okay so this is the value of uh, below yield stress 503.744 it means uh, our structure is safe for now if we apply more load it will break forever or fail so this is the simple exercise on SOLIDWORKS that is how to do tension stress in SOLIDWORKS so for more video like share and subscribe our channel thank you